Hello and welcome to another video. In this one we're going to be talking about Path, which I've briefly explained in the virtual environment video. Uh, I will link that below, uh, but I figured I would do it in a little bit more detail in this video. So let's jump into it. So the semantics that we're going to be talking about for Path today apply to both Windows and Linux. However, I'm going to be demoing them in Linux. Uh, the one difference between the two is Linux uses a semicolon as a path separator and Windows uses a colon? Wait, no, it's the other way around. <laughs> Linux uses a colon and Windows uses a semicolon. So if we, if we look at path here, <clears throat> you'll see that there's colons as separators. We'll talk about what separators and what each of these things mean in a second, um, but that's, that's on Linux. And if we look on Windows, uh, echo percent path percent you'll see that they are semicolon separated instead of colon separated but other than that they're going to operate basically the same way I'll just exit out of this um yeah so what path is is it's an environment variable that show or that the system uses to look up executables and it's a list of paths but you know environment variables can't be lists or maps or whatever they have to be just strings and so the way this list is represented is each path is separated by a colon. And um, I believe, can you make a file that has a colon in it? Um, I guess you can. So <laughs> there's one limitation on, on Linux in that you can't have, uh, you can't have paths that contain colons as part of your path. Um, I don't know how that would work otherwise, but it really doesn't come up. Like don't put colons in your paths. Um, but what the system will do is it will look through each entry in this list and the first one that contains that executable uh, will be used to find that thing. So, you know, if we look inside this directory, uh, you'll see that I have a bunch of things in here. We have, you know, PyPy installed, I have Go, I have Talks, I have Precommit, I have you know, a bunch of things. Um, it's actually it's actually on the path twice, probably due, a due to a bug in my dot files, but uh, we won't worry about that. Um, but you can figure out which path is resolving this by using the which command. So if we said, you know, which talks, uh, it will tell you the path to where that executable is. Now, which is a Unix specific thing. Um, there are ports of it to Windows, but uh, by default, I don't believe you'll have a which command. Some of you might if you've installed like git bash, for instance, uh, but it's not there by default. You can also pass a very useful argument to which, which is which-a, and that will tell you every path entry that has this executable in it. Now, of course, I have this path entry twice, so it's not, not so useful there, uh, but I believe if I do which-a python3, yeah, you'll see that um, two of these paths in here match. So both uh, user bin, which is right here, as well as slash bin. And uh, it happens to be on my machine that uh, bin is a sim link to user bin so these are actually the same exact path um, but they're resolved slightly differently and uh, from the virtual env video if i make a virtual environment and i activate it what virtual env does as part of its activation is it modifies path and you'll see that the virtual env bin directory gets prepended to the beginning of the path this means that anything installed into the virtual env will have precedence over any of these other paths and if we, you know, if we say again, which dash a Python three, you'll see now that it would resolve my virtual environments, Python three before any of the other Python threes. Now, of course, there's nothing super special about this activate script. You could always make your own directories and put those on the path. So if we, you know, make dir some bin directory and, uh, you know, we put a little script into bin slash T and make sure that that's executable. Uh, and then we put that on the path by doing export path equals current working directory slash bin and then dollar sign path. Uh, this will, you know, make sure that we keep all of the other parts of the path still on the path while prepending our particular path entry here. Uh, and now if we, you know, just, just press T on the command line, it will echo hi. But if we, you know, if we didn't do that, we would get command not found as you see over here. Now, one thing that's uh, an easy mistake to make when setting path is to forget the rest of path. And I'll show you what happens when you do that. Path equals, so let's say we just set it to the working dir slash bin. Um, you'll notice now that if I try and run commands like, you know, ls or um, cd actually works because it's a shell built in, but 
<laughs> we've lost all of our things on our path, and that's because, you know, path is just this particular directory. Now, of course, you can still run that one executable that's in that directory, but you can't run anything else that would have been in any of these other directories. Um, I think that's all I want to talk about with path. Uh, hopefully this was useful. If you guys have additional things that you want me to explain, leave a comment below or reach out to me on the various platforms. But thank you all for watching, and I will see you guys in the next one.